Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to give you an overview of the idea of financial statement analysis. Um, financial statement analysis is, is basically, to sum it up, it, it's looking at mathematical relationships between various financial information that comes from the financial statements and using that mathematical relationship to learn something about the company that will be useful for decision making of whether or not you will invest in that company or if you're inside the company, whether or not you'll uh, make a, a certain um, a business decision that you're, that you're thinking about. So financial statement analysis is basically mathematical relationships. And there's three common types of relationships that investors and other users of financial statements typically look at. What we call the profitability ratios, the liquidity ratios, and the solvency ratios. Now, profitability ratios are those that essentially tell you how much did the company earn. And so um, profitability ratios, as you may be thinking, because I, I said the word earn, right? How much did the company earn? Profitability ratios tend to be related to the income statement because the, in, the income statement tells you about the revenues and expenses or the profit of the company. So these tend to be income statement related ratios. Then you have liquidity ratios. Liquidity ratios basically tell you, um, can the company cover short term debts? Or can the company survive in the short term? Um, when you think about survival in the short term, what you have to think about is what assets do I have at my disposal now or my current assets? And what debts are expected to be paid now or my current liabilities? So typically liquidity ratios involve current assets and current liabilities, therefore they are balance sheet focused. Solvency ratios are very similar to liquidity ratios, except they focus on can the company cover long term debts, All right? So it's one thing to say the company can survive in the short term, but sometimes investors want to know, can the company survive in the long term? So now you're not thinking just current assets that you have access to, but you're thinking about what about the long term assets that you have access to as well? You're not thinking just about the current debts that are coming due, but what about the long term debts that are coming due? And so most of these ratios are going to involve some combination of total assets and total liabilities. And again, they're going to be very balance sheet focused. Okay, so that's your three most common types of analyses that you're going to see performed on the financial statements, all telling you a little bit something different about the profitability and survivability of the company. Now, here's the thing. When you do these analyses, you can do them on one year of financial data, and you can get a number from your mathematical formula that you conduct. And um, that number will have meaning. But if you want deeper meaning, you're going to want to compare that number to something. And so that's what the bottom part of this slide deals with, is comparison is going to provide much deeper meaning than the number alone. And you have three types of comparisons that you can do. You can do intra-company comparison, which is you compare to self at another time. So in other words, I'm looking at profitability of 2020 and I could compare it to profitability of 2019 and then 2018 and 2017, right? I'm comparing to my own numbers, but at a different point in time. That's intra-company comparison. Inter-company comparison is compare to others at same time. So I know my profitability for 2020. What about my nearest competitor? What's their profitability for 2020, right? So that's inter-company comparison. And then you have industry comparison, and that is compare against industry averages. So maybe you compare yourself to your competitor, right? Or who you think is your nearest competitor, or maybe you operate in a particular industry, be it say communications or automotive or uh, household chemicals or whatever the case may be. Um, you might want to care about, well, I'm XYZ profitable, 
But on average, how's my industry doing? Because everyone within the same industry is typically subject to the same economic forces. And therefore, your profitability might be down, but maybe the whole industry is down and actually you're not doing so bad. Right? And so that's the idea of industry comparison. So three common types of ratios that are conducted, three types of comparisons that are typically conducted and combined, this just tells us even greater uh, information about the company than what the numbers on the financial statements tell us alone. That's your overview of financial statement analysis. Hope you learned something. Hope you join me for the next video.